What's up party people and today we'll take a look in the World of Warcraft classic era PvP system and its changes on the 24th of August. In today's video we are going through the old system, the new system, what changed in between and the user interface. So Blizzard made this blue post and I think many many players didn't even notice that the PvP Classic Era system is going to have some changes soon. Before we are going right into the Classic Era update, I wanna quick remind you how the old PvP system was intended in the game. So if you kill a character on the opposite fraction, you will get a reward that is called Orna. The Ornor transforms to ranking points different ranking points to get different ranks so for rank 14 you need like 60,000 ranking points and their increases from rank to rank so you start on rank 1 with like 2000 ranking points and this is not everything you need to know um, you have a competition against other players of your own fraction you have to farm more honor and ranking points than the other players or that was common on the most classic era pvp servers you have brackets and in these different brackets they're playing like 20 people from rank 10 to rank 14 and when the top three players of these players all want to go for rank 14 they have to stay at the same amount of ranking and honor points to receive the maximum of ranking points so people communicate with each other and say oh let me check out here i really need this amount of honor to get that amount of ranking points and that we can get everything the same amount of ranking points we need this amount of honor i hope that was understandable you also have a weekly decay of the ranking points so if you have to grind like 60,000 ranking points you have a weekly decrease of your ranking points to 20% which means you have to play against this 20% decrease plus you need to farm ranking points to get higher rank than before or just more percent of that ranking and have in mind if you do not play world of warcraft you will quick lose your ranking points and even derank which means when you don't play like two or three weeks you can easily lose like 60 percent of your rank and this is just frustrating if you're ranking like 20 percent for one week and just lose them instantly because you didn't play enough or get sick or something else happens so you can't play world of warcraft and you just have to stand there and see oh my god my rank is decreasing and you can't do shit about it so in the term of rank the rank of a player is given in the pvp season ranks range is from one private or scout to 14 grand marshal and high wallet on all the side so there's still 14 ranks there's not a rank more or a rank less you just have to rank from rank 1 well from rank 0 to rank 14. honorable kills hks uh, awarded when killing opposite fraction players or npcs that was that what i said before um that are near or above your player level killing higher rank players awarded more contribution points that was the thing that i mean with uh, ranking points uh, the contribution points are the points that you get uh, for killing the enemy players and uh, the honor and the honors like nothing you can really use it's not like a coin you can spend uh, on different items you can buy the rank 14 equipment with gold um, you just need the right ranking for the items dishonorable kills it's like if you kill a civilian tag you can see them in the tooltip um, you will get this honorable kills and you will decrease ranking points instant so the contribution points awarded to the players based on their hks and dks while contribution points is often used interchangeably with honor it's not to be confused with honor points 
which is also what many players call honor as short hand. Sometimes uh, HK is more worth money, sometimes uh, HK is less worth, it's depending on the rank of the other player you kill. Uh, rank points rank points were awarded based on the player's cp and the number of players in a bracket rp was awarded mostly linearly compared to cp however the difference is that the rp took other players into consideration to from ranked standings or a leaderboard of playing rank based on their participation in the system this aspect of the system has been removed from the game yes that's a change we will come later to so here are some points where they want to change the system there's a lot of pressure to grind hks non-stop science players are ranked based on the percent of how many pvp partitions there are some players will engage in an activity called pool boosting pool boosting is basically when you make 20 or more level 1 characters with other persons and just kill a level 10 alliance character near the razor blade graveyard he's just respawning every second and you just hit him with a group of players in like 15 times just you can just build a raid and, and kill this level 10 on a fraction player again 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 till you have 15 honorable kills and then you will go offline change the character and uh, kill that uh, other fraction player again again like 15 times and if you make it with like 400 characters there's one more rank 14 spot left that can get the maximum amount of ranking points bracket fixing becomes the meta that was what i mentioned before uh, just people are talking to each other and watch out that no one is grinding more honor than they have to grind and it's just easy to get the maximum of ranking points with every player in the same bracket so the old pvp honor system script is complex takes long time to run and is an error prone so blizzard has issues to calculate the ranking system right now on different characters and different servers and uh, it has so many problems and so many delays and <laughs> The ranks did not update and there are so many bugs and problems that can't mention it all here and this unchanged science 2005 so it was functional but it's not functional at all anymore just some positive uh, points for the new system uh, eliminating ranking points grant honor and honor points at the time is earned so you can see you are gaining ranking points and rank uh, while you are playing and not just a weekly update move the weekly honor updates is a more efficient and powerful method to updating individual players ranks so you can see in real time uh, that your rank is going up for just playing the game and that's a really good change i think remove the deranking that's probably one of the biggest changes that have ever made by blizzard in uh, classic world of warcraft and the dk is still there but you can't de-rank so if you're like uh, on rank 11 with 90 percent you can get back to zero percent of rank 11 but you can't de-rank on rank 10 again and a week off would not cost multiple weeks of progress that's what it says so now we will take a look into the old and the new system and what's in between so the minimum on number of honorable kills necessary to earn cp and ranking points each week was 15 kills and it's the same in the new system so nothing changed there how are honor points are awarded based on player level and pvp rank that's in the new system the same thing placed on player level and pvp rank like if you kill a I rank player you will earn more honor points and if you kill a lower level player you will not get as much um, honor points as you would get if it's in the same level when does honor dk happen when the player does not meet the ex accepted honor for the rank for a given week that's the same thing in the new system when the player does not meet the accepted honor for their rank for a given week so basically you will get the 20% dk and if you not play 
the game to uh, decrease but not de rank anymore so if you like on rank 10 with 5% and do not play for two weeks you're just like on rank 10 with 0% of the rank what's the maximum amount of a cp a player may lose to dk 2500 2500 it will not be more it will not be less so um just the maximum you can lose the 20 percent are ornacles this ornacles honor and highest rank displays in the ue for today yesterday this week last week and lifetime yes yes i will show you this user interface soon so stay tuned for this one is player standing displayed in the UI for the last week? Yes, and in the new system, no, uh, as the players are no longer compared against one another on their real line. So, what this means is basically that the character rank for themselves. You don't compare and you don't have a competition against your own fraction. You just rank for yourself with your ranking points. And that's a really, really good thing, I think. How does a player's rank determine it? This is based on the amount of the ranking points the player has earned. Ranking points no longer exist. How do dishonorable kills penalize players? The case cause an immediate loss of CP. And that's what's the same thing on the new system if you kill a dishonorable civilian you will lose instant your cp how often are ranking points are awarded weekly never ranking points no longer exist in the new system will honor dk indefinitely yes this means the player may be demoted to a lower rank if they honor dk so what about the honor dk that's what i mentioned before uh, current you can de-rank to a lower rank but in the new ranking system you can't de-rank anymore how are honor points converted to cp using an algorithm based on the player accepted honor for the rank a hard order change factor minus any decryption from the case so this is pretty interesting this algorithm based ii will no longer be used instead of there is a curve which maps the honor to cp for example you need 750k honor equates to 65,000 cp uh, the numbers are not final probably they will change it to a less amount i think but um, we will see how it ended um 750k honor is pretty decent i saw many many players on season of mastery with above 1.5 million honor each week i don't know how they sleep eat and doing stuff like fucking 1 million honor was huge 750k honor is much too but you can rank to rank 14 in like eight weeks so it is okay uh, we will see how it went probably they changed the numbers higher or lower we will see that when does the stats for this week and lifetime update once per day was the stats in the ui like how many honor points you made yesterday and stuff and here we have one immediately user interface where you can see the weekly kills and stuff i can show you the ui in a second about the ua can a player see their standings for others players in the ui yes that's in the old current version and in the new version on the 24th of august there is uh, no players are no longer compared with another one so standing has been removed from the ui yeah that's a pretty huge change i will show you right here the new system uh, where you can see the interface we have a private dobi no warrior which is rank one obviously with one honorable kill yesterday and last week he also killed one player and gained uh, 199 honor in the lifetime he killed 16 enemy players so he just got rank one and um, there you can see the highest rank the honorable kills honorable kills and i want to show you the old user interface here of my uh, rank 14 rogue you can see the high warlock high warlord title uh, i just ranked to rank 40 i never ever had a dishonorable kill by ranking i had one dishonorable kill 
before but that was in the first time i started playing this character back in 2019 so we can compare how the interface changes now we have the honorable kills the dishonorable kills of today of yesterday of the week and of the last week um, we had the standing when i hit rank 14 i was standing on place one for getting the most amount of honor in the last week for my rank 14 week and we had organized a pool boost for getting to <laughs> rank 14 that was a big big problem we had to pool boost if we had not done it i probably had not the opportunity to get rank 14 so it was pretty lucky i made 53,000 honorable kills in my lifetime when this honorable kill my highest rank was high warlord so there are not many changes in the ui i just the uh, standing in the last weeks gone because you don't compete to other players in your fraction anymore so on the ptr servers there was the cap of eight weeks to get to rank uh, 14 this is what uh, they said in the blue post here and it's a very decent explanation probably there are some changes when it will be released soon and you will simply need to hit specific milestones for honor points gained each week to progress through pvp ranks well last but not least i want uh, to talk a little bit about my opinion uh, about a new ranking system i think there are some pretty good changes you can rank with some alts right now to get like rank 10 easily uh, just for the blue gear and don't have the problem that you can de-rank and stuff so you can just progress some ranking and make your own journey with your character in the pvp areas and in the pvp system and you can just rank whenever you want you don't have to grind 24 7 for 12 hours a day and it's it's a long ass big ass grind it's still a big grind i mean you you need eight weeks but if you can do it in eight weeks with the changes you can just look when you have time for like one week in summer one week in, in winter and, and then you just need six weeks more for grinding to rank 14 so probably it's pretty easy now to get rank 14 even if you have a life and kids and stuff so on patch 1.15.4 we will see a lot of new rank 14 players that we can just smash with our old rank 14 characters <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think about a new ranking system did you rank have 14 character in the last four years i'm still playing my hard rank 14 rogue on firemore and i'm pretty happy with the current situation that world of warcraft classic era is and i'm i'm pretty sure that the classic era hype is coming back I said it months before and now it's time hardcore classic release soon i'm not that much into hardcore classic but i love to see that the server population is going higher and higher every day and it's just awesome to play with you guys let me know in the comments if you have some questions or something i try to answer every comment and probably will see us in the next video you can click in the middle of the screen to see my rogue in action probably i will link the rank 10 pvp montage video and the rank 14 clip right here and you can see my full journey in the left so see you soon guys have a great time bye